Hey what's up everyone, how we doing? In this video, I'm going to show you how to forge the Pack-A-Punch machine inside of D-Machina in Cold War Zombies. But before we jump into it, if you find some value in this video, then please make sure to leave a like on it, and if you're not already, then subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty and Zombies related videos. Also, if you're looking for some people to play zombies with, or just jam COD with in general, then feel free to jump into the Covert Discord server, which will be linked in the description, and you'll find that there are a couple of channels set up for people to party up and play. Now let's get amongst the video. To kick things off, you need to gain access to the main facility on the map. To do this, you're going to need to open up a few doors, so you're going to need to kill some zombies off the rip and get enough points to get a clear run through. You can follow these glow in the dark arrows which lead you right to the facility and then eventually the power room, which is where you're going to eventually need to be. Once you head through the Narcturan Totem section of the map, you'll need to get some more points to open up this wall which will take you to the main entrance of the facility. Once you're in the facility, the next step for forging the Pack-A-Punch is to turn on the power. From the main entrance point of the facility, you need to open up one of the doors that's either on the left or the right, and then another door after that to get into the particle accelerator area. Again, at the back of this room, you'll see a glowing arrow which you need to follow and then head up the stairs which will take you to the door of the main power room. Once you're inside, you'll see a big red button that you need to push, and that will turn the power on. Once you've turned the power on, if you've still got enough ammo, head back down into the particle accelerator room, and you'll see that there are two terminals active now on the upper platform, one being on each side. Head over to each and turn them on. Doing this will help stabilize the accelerator so that you can enter the dark ether. While this is happening, you'll notice that the anomaly will appear on the center platform of the accelerator room. If you run up to it, you'll see a prompt to interact with it. Hold down whichever button applies to you for the platform that you're playing on, and then you'll teleport into the dark ether. The layout of the dark ether seems to basically be the same as the normal layout of the map, but it just has a bit of a different vibe to it. Once you're here, you need to retrieve the machine part. To find this, you need to head to one of the ether tunnels. You'll see an indicator on your screen which will show you where this is. You'll have to spend 500 points or so in order to go through this tunnel, and once you do, it will basically spawn you right next to the machine part. Once you've picked it up, head back to the particle accelerator room and go to that center platform where you first entered the dark ether, and you'll see an outline of the Pack-A-Punch. You just need to walk up to it, and it will give you a prompt to place the part down. After you've done that, it will automatically teleport you back out of the Dark Aether, and you'll have the Pack-A-Punch unlocked. Now you can just walk up to the machine, and interact with it to pull up the Pack-A-Punch menu, which will give you the ability to upgrade your weapon's damage up to three times using your points, and if you tab across to the other menu, you'll be able to buy whichever particular ammo mod you want to use. At this stage, I'm not too sure if there's going to be a way to upgrade this at all, but I'll make sure to put another video together explaining how to do so, if that ends up being the case. I'm also planning on making some other Zombies content as well, so if you're interested in that, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I think that about wraps things up for this video. Like I say, if you found some value in this video, then please make sure to leave a like on it. And like I say, I'll be posting more Zombies and Call of Duty related videos. So if you're interested in that, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out some of my other videos. Alright, I'll catch you next time. You take it easy.